Well, I want to make a sign to put up at craft fairs and places like that with my logo on and handcrafted. All I've got here is a frame that I attached glued on to a canvas board and I've painted it black. But I want to have a crackle effect behind it. So what I'm going to do is try one of these crackle effect techniques and see if it works without using crackle paint and i've seen this done quite a lot by a lot of different people i apologize i can't remember where i last saw it if not i would acknowledge them and all they're using is a white glue and putting it on quite heavily and thickly onto your base and spreading that over fairly thin thickly across everything that they want to crackle and if this works it's going to be so much cheaper than buying the crackle paste but you do have to work quite quickly because if not it's going to dry really quickly because this glue does dry quite quick okay now i've got that on there and what i need to do is spread over my next color over the top of this and i'm going to use a yellow because i want it to be really very bright and i'm trying to put this over the top as neat as possible without mixing it into the glue underneath and as this dries it should crackle and if it doesn't then that's not a problem all i've got to do then is allow this to fully dry then i can put my sign on it anyway and the glue will dry clear so that will help that hopefully black to shine through so i think i've got that quite well covered now what i'm going to do is let that dry actually i can start i can see where it is on there already that it is starting to crackle a little bit so let's let that dry and we'll see what happens so while that's drying, what I'm going to do is cut out my little sign here. And I'm using my blade that goes wiggly woggly around to allow me to cut out a neater circle. I just printed these off on my normal printer. This turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. I really didn't think it was going to work. And it has crackled absolutely lovely. I'm so pleased with that, I can't tell you. And I've got two signs here that I'm going to put on that way up and that's just my logo and it says handcrafted and i'm not sure whether to use the larger circle or the sm no definitely the larger circle and then i'm going to do a bit of a color wash over the whole thing to make it look a little bit more antique -y. but i'm going to use something a little bit different to do that color wash with first of all i've got to glue these on and i think that's important to get those glued on and i'm going to be using some white glue for that just spread that all the way over oh this brush is a bit dirty but that don't matter if it shows through i'm going to make it look a little bit more antique -y anyway making sure i get to all the ends put that on there and then the same for this bit glue that onto the bottom there and then i'll show you what i'm going to do to finish it all off and make it look as if it's not brand new now that's on there all i'm going to do is quickly roll over it with this little roller to make sure it's all nice and flush on there and there's no air bubbles anywhere because i don't want any air bubbles in it i'd rather it was a little bit crinkly than have air bubbles for the next stage and now i'm going to let that dry up now that's all dry, what I'm going to do is kind of antique it up a little bit. And all I'm going to use is a tea bag. And I'm going to pop that into some cold water to start with. And let that soak for about two or three minutes. So now that's been soaking in there a couple of minutes, what I'm going to do is add some hot water on top of that. And then let that brew a little bit more. And as you can see, the colour is really coming out of it now. And that should be enough. And let that brew around and then cool down a bit more. So now that's been brewing quite a while, what I'm going to do is just paint this over the top of this whole thing. And it'll knock down that brightness of everything and it'll give it a little bit of an antique effect. Effect. Now you can use more than one tea bag if you want a stronger colour. I like this kind of colour. And paint that all over. I'll allow that to dry naturally. I won't knock any of that off using a dry cloth or anything like that. And if there's areas where you want it to be a little bit darker, like I'd like it to be a little bit darker here. All you got to do is squeeze some on there and you'll get some darker spaces. Now any tea leaves that go on there, it doesn't matter. They'll just let it get a little bit thicker and richer in that place. And also once you dry it, they'll come straight off. You don't have to do this stage, but I quite like it. And this works on a lot of different things if you want to age them up. And now we'll leave that 
to dry naturally. Well, that's nicely aged and I think that is enough. And what I'm going to do now is it's lovely and dry all over. I've brushed off the tea leaves that were on there. And now all I'm going to do is give it a quick coat of a satin varnish. And the reason I'm giving it a coat of satin varnish is that is going to protect that even more and allow it to last for a long, long time. I'm going up and down that way. And then once that's dry, I will go that way and I'll show you what it looks like completely finished. Well, this is really all finished now. I've put a little piece of string on the back so I can hang it up if it needs hanging up or I can prop it up if it needs propping up. I'm really pleased with the way that that has come out. I love it. I love anything that looks a little bit more antiquified, and it's not going to look out of place because it's going to be around other stuff that I'll have probably made using crackle effect and a little bit of antique finish to it. Hope you've enjoyed this. Brilliant technique. Love it. Think the crackle came out brilliant. I'm so pleased with it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. There's no doubt about it. Boot that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out the video that's coming up next. I think you'll love it. It's a great upcycle. But most of all, be sure to enjoy your crafting. Bye.